Okay, everybody, the most common request I've been having by far during either the Twitch live streams, the YouTube live streams, all that stuff, or on just YouTube video comments, is everyone is asking, one, how do you play this on PC? I've already explained that. However, BlueStacks 5 has lots of lag-related issues. So what people are experiencing is there's probably half the populace that's currently playing on BlueStacks 5 using a VPN in order to get the game to work. That's fine, you can play that way. I did that in the first like half of the videos. The next half you notice is like buttery smooth and somehow I figured something out. That's the point of today's video. It is if you're experiencing a very laggy PC related gameplay, exactly how to fix that. And I'm gonna show you all of the steps in this video today. If that's the video you're looking for, consider liking since that's the video you were looking for and subscribing if you wanna see hopefully more videos that will help you, your gameplay and enjoyability of Marvel Future Revolution out. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, proof is in the pudding. Here is me. I'm gonna turn my graphics, everything to absolute 100% maximum. I am in the main city. I am in fact playing on Emulator. You can see it's called LD Player. That's a big part of the reason it's smooth and we're gonna talk about that here. High, higher quality than is recommended. Temperature and all that may be subpar. Frame rate, high. Everything, absolute maximum, okay? Here we are, we're in the main city. This is where the absolute peak lag comes from. You might think it's in the battle with all the effects. The effects seem fairly smooth. I think it's localized and all that. You can see there's a little bit chop, just a little bit, but there's none of these huge lag drop rates. And I just realized my camera is absolutely enormous. Apologize for that. Uh, I There's these no huge drag, you know, dropping rates or anything like you get in blue stacks where it's just like, oh, suddenly I can't play the game for like four seconds and then you die in PVP or something like that, okay? Everything works great. You can do blitz, PVE, et cetera. If you see the little bit of chop that's happening, something you can do is go into the settings. And I know you probably don't have this yet and you're probably like, hey, yo, dude, shut up. Like, how do I even get this to work? Like, I don't know how this works. I'm just showing you first that it works and then I'm gonna explain it all, okay? You can skip ahead if you want, whatever, but this is proof of concept. So. Here we go, I can turn off anti-analyzing, it helps a little bit, and you can drop the frame rates down to medium, which runs it at 60, and then you can see moving around all that's actually, that's about as smooth as you're gonna realistically get it uh, in this game. And I have currently Raid Shadow Legends going on Ultra, and I have my Adobe Premiere Pro in the background. Granted, I have a pretty good computer, but you don't really need an optimal computer, it's an emulator. So let's talk about how this works and how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna do my very best to make this stupid simple as possible. I will leave written step instructions down as well if you just wanna follow that. First, go LED player 64-bit. You have to type that in. If you don't run the 64-bit version, it will not work. Do not click on the ad up top, click on the second one. It says, you can see it says LD player blog download 64-bit. You click here, okay? What is LD player, by the way? It's an emulator like BlueStacks. Um, keep in mind, that uh, some people have said they don't like LD Player because they don't want to support the company or whatever. I'm just trying to give you as much non-biased reviews as possible. They actually offered me $120 to promote this themselves, or for me to promote this on my main channel and actually like do a real plug and all that. I denied the offer, this is non-sponsored. I prefer BlueStacks for everything except LD Player, but for this one particular instance, LD player is what you want. So then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna download the 64-bit version, okay, right here, LD 64-bit. If you don't download the 64-bit, it will not work. This is the first point of uh, failure that can happen for people when it's not working. They're saying it won't install, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It 100% will not work if you have the normal version of LD player. You have to go to this weird part and download it from this link. That's the only way, okay? And yes, I will leave the link to this in the description. now. What you do once you have that, you're gonna have it downloaded and launched and it's gonna look like this. Obviously, you're not gonna see Nord VPN or Revolution. Again, I'm not sponsored by Nord. I just did that one because it's the biggest name I know, okay? Go to the Play Store. First thing you do once you have LD Player downloaded, okay? Go to the store, you're gonna search for apps. You're gonna type in a VPN. Some people say Thunder VPN, some people say Nord. I don't care, pick the one you want, okay? There's a million different sponsored people out there showing all of these different things anyway. So if you want to see all the different Nord VPNs, you know, whatever, just go find one that someone promotes that looks like it's not a pile of garbage, okay? So download that VPN. Now, you have a VPN, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your VPN and you're gonna scroll down once you have your VPN and you're gonna find where it says Canada and you're gonna click and you're going to register as Canada and connect your VPN, okay? So for me, I use Toronto, so I'm gonna connect to that. There it is, fastest connected to Canada. Now, these are step number one and number two. 
This is the second point of failure for people. If you do not install the VPN on the emulator, not on your computer, some people think I have a VPN on my computer, it's the same thing, it is not. Download the VPN on your emulator and engage Canada on your emulator. Now, congratulations, you have the emulator going, you are ready for the third step. Go back to your browser on your computer. This is not the browser inside of your emulator. If you go inside your emulator, this is the third point of failure. People will go up here and they'll open up their browser and they'll go here for the links. No, get the link outside of the browser, okay? So here we go. Now from here, we're gonna type in APK Peer, okay? That's simple. You're gonna click download free MK Peer. Now we're right here on this website. We haven't downloaded anything yet. We're gonna click the search button. We're gonna go and we're gonna type in Marvel Future Revolution. This is gonna pull up Marvel Future Revolution. You're going to click on this and you're at, okay, we got an ad, sorry. Stupid Raid Shadow Legends, I don't know who actually plays that game. And then you're gonna click download right here, okay? It's gonna download an APK. You might say, well, an APK doesn't work on your computer. You're not downloading it for your computer. Once you have it, you're gonna drag it and literally drop it right here. You might think that's weird, but that will install it correctly and will also bypass any issues of regions. So when you do that with the VPN on, okay? If you can't download it, your VPN's not on. When you drag and drop it, it doesn't work or you have any issues or anything like that, you failed one of the steps, okay? Some people want to know what are my settings just in case they want to see the same settings to make sure they have it exactly the same. Preset model, I scroll all the way down on here if you really care and I have Samsung O 20 Ultra, you can do the 20 Ultra. There's a million of these things you can do, but the 20 Ultra has worked great for me. Most of these work, however, but that's the one I've been using, okay. Game settings, I have just these bottom two plugged, which don't matter, it's by default. 60 frames per second was default. You can change that if you want. And then I just have everything basically set on default. It's, it's really that simple. I did set four cores recommended and I set eight gigs of RAM, but that's because I have 64 gigabytes of RAM in my editing computer and I do not really need to worry about that, okay? That's it, those are my settings. Now, here's the fourth point of failure. When you go to actually launch the game, let me actually, physically show you how this works. So if the game doesn't install, when you're drag and dropping, it says like can install or something like that, then your issue is you probably download the 32-bit version, okay? Okay, now let's say you installed everything and you think you've got it all the way that it's supposed to be and you launch the game. And when you launch the game, you end up getting an issue where it says something like cannot access server. Uh, and the server might be down. Can I access server means the server, it might be on a maintenance, they do have crashes sometimes. However, if you get your region cannot access it, please wait until, here you go, the official launch. That means your VPN is not working, because watch. So what I'll do is I'm gonna close out of the game again. You see I didn't have my VPN running. I'm gonna click on my VPN, I'm gonna open it up, and hopefully I'm not gonna show you my IP or anything right here, but whatever, I'm trying to help, so let's, Let's click on that, there we go. So now I'm connected to Canada, okay? So now, when I launch it, I wanna show you something that's important, which is another way to get better game experience. VPN can cause a lag for obvious reasons. So, all you have to do is load the VPN, connect to Canada, and get past the previous part. If you get past this part here, the Omega Flight, and it goes to where it says Omega Flight Server and all that, and it doesn't pop up with that cannot access from your region automatically, you're in and it's verified you, okay? You know you're good. So then at that point, what you can do is disconnect from your VPN or close it out entirely, watch. So here we go, we are connected, we are good. Now we can go back to the VPN, we can disconnect, we can even close out of it. Let's go ahead and launch the game itself. A Little bit of lag on the launch, that's gonna happen. And there we go, we're in the game, and now we're connected to the server and in the game without the VPN, meaning we're getting an even better performance experience in the game. And I, I believe this actually affects your ping as well. I'm not 100% sure, I've been keeping my eye on it. It seems like my ping is better without the VPN. Um, I'm, that part, someone in the comment can probably educate me on. But that is the steps. Look, I have what? I got 588 ping right now, but it's dropping down, 197, 192. You know, it's dropping slowly and here you go. Fairly laggy when you load the game, but this is, remember, this is, it's loading. This is not like, you would have a little bit of lag on your phone too. This here, super smooth, highest settings, main world, okay? 
I, I've been streaming with this, recording with this, obviously, posting videos with this, and this is the only way I've been able to play the game. I don't even own an Android device other than in these emulators, and I'm in for 600 bucks, and I have a great experience playing it on LD Player. Again, not sponsored. LD Player has its own issues, but for this game, and if you've had trouble with lag, choppiness, and you're trying to fix any of those issues, this is the solution for you. Let me know in the comments down below if this solution and walkthrough actually helped. I'll do my best to get this video out now and to write down the steps for you. If this did help, do consider subscribing as well as liking. Both of those things help me out immensely, but just you watching this video all the way through helped me, so thank you for that. That being said, I'm gonna go live on twitch.tv slash darthmicrotransaction.com. And that is where, uh, not even .com, it's just twitch.tv slash darthmicrotransaction. You know, isn't it weird that you almost think that .com is like at the end of every website? It's, it's almost like thinking that, you know, nose tissue is Kleenex.